mushrooms, psilocybin, LSD, acid. Yes, right now I'm looking at all the research behind these crazy psychedelic substances and I can't actually believe how much research and documentation that they did on this stuff back in the 50s and 60s and it's all out there on the internet to look at and the other day I mentioned on my uh, Instagram, I took you guys through how I was looking at some of this stuff and when I mentioned Project MK Ultra, a lot of you guys started sending me messages being like man, you're about to go down the rabbit hole so I thought, you know what, instead of just looking through this research for myself, why not take you guys along the journey with me while I look at the research. So today, we're going to dive into Project MK Ultra. What is it? Uh, what's it all about? What were they doing back in the 50s and 60s with all these psychedelic substances? Let's dive into it. So Project MK Ultra was the code name for a series of investigations into mind-bending substances, techniques, and medical procedures. The goal was to develop develop true serums, mind control drugs, and determine what chemicals and methods had potential use for torture, disorientation, and espionage. Now I feel like we might get a lot of like possible conspiracy uh, theory stuff here just because it seems like this is a very broad subject, like it's not covering one specific scientific study like I've been looking at in the past, but uh, let's just jump into it. Uh, bigthink.com or let's just do wikipedia see what it says here first so project mk ultra also called the cia mind control program is the code name given to a program of experiments on human subjects that were designed and undertaken by the united states central intelligence agency Ooh la la and which were at times illegal Experiments on humans were intended to identify and develop drugs and procedures to be used in interrogations in order to weaken the individual and force confessions through mind control. The project was organized through the Office of Scientific Intelligence of the CIA and coordinated with the U.S. Army Biological Warfare Laboratories. Code names for drugs-related experiments were Project Bluebird and Project Artichoke. Now, I'm not surprised that they were doing this, but like... It's just fascinating how much documentation there was in the past of this. So here we go. The operation was officially sanctioned in 1953, was reduced in scope in 1964, further curtailed in 1967, and recorded to be halted in 1973. The program engaged in many illegal activities, including the use of U.S. and Canadian citizens as its unwitting test subjects, which led to controversy regarding its legitimacy. Yeah, I've heard this on like the Joe Rogan Experience podcast, where like apparently like at brothels and stuff, they were just like, you know, like doubt dosing these people unknowingly and then letting them trip out <laughs> and watching them from like behind mirrors and like two way mirrors and stuff. It's that's crazy. MK Ultra used numerous methods to manipulate people's mental states and alter brain functions, including the surreptitious administ administration of drugs, especially LSD and other chemicals, hypnosis, sensory deprivation, isolation, verbal and sexual abuse, and other for forms of torture. The scope of Project MK Ultra was broad, with research undertaken at 80 institutions. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff done here. It's a lot of research to dive into, including colleges and universities, hospitals, prisons, and pharmaceutical companies. The CIA operated through these institutions using front organizations, although sometimes top officials at these institutions were aware of the CIA's involvement. Project MK Ultra was first brought to the public attention in 1975 by the Church Committee of the United States Congress and General Ford's United States President's Commission on CIA Activities within the United States. Investigative efforts were hampered by CIA Director Richard Helms' order that all MK Ultra files to be destroyed in 1973. The Church Committee and Rockefeller Commission investigations relied on the sworn testimony of direct participants and on the relatively small number of documents that survived Helm's destruction order. In 1977, a Freedom of Information Act request uncovered a cache of 20,000 documents relating to Project MK Ultra, which led to Senate hearings later that year. Some surviving information regarding MK Ultra was declassified in July 2001. 
In December 2018, declassified documents included a letter to an unidentified doctor discussing work on six dogs made to run, turn, and stop via remote control and brain implants. This is crazy. Holy crap. Yeah, but like I kind of knew about this stuff broadly. Again, I've heard a lot about this, that they did these experiments. But let's go see if we can find some actual stuff here, like some actual videos, some actual legitimacy. After World War II, the tension between the two emerging superpowers, the United States and the then Soviet Union, was at an all-time high. The threat of a nuclear war, and sequentially the end of human existence as we know it, was banging on everyone's door. Everyone's life was hanging on by a thread. Neither side wanted to budge, or fall behind the other in fear of losing power completely. Technological development didn't stop with the atom bomb. It continued to get bigger and bigger, like you were rolling a ball of snow down a hill. At the beginning of World War II, we were still using mediocre biplanes. By the end, we had fighter jets, super fortress bombers, new technology. It was like when radio turned to television, a complete shift in focus. It turned from bombs, to chemical warfare, to more biological weapons. Weapons that could enter and change the mind itself. The most dangerous weapon is information. It was rumored that the Nazis near the end of World War II were doing research on the minds and behaviors of humans, and that the secrets and answers to that research lied in the German scientists themselves. Countries such as China, the Soviet Union, and, through the mission codenamed Operation Paperclip, even the United States took former German scientists and engineers back to their own individual countries. The United States was terrified by this. The thought of communist countries researching and developing mind control methods was the worst thing imaginable. The idea of being able to brainwash your citizens, or anyone, into believing in the communist agenda, or any agenda for that matter, is an extreme power. Of course, the solution to this is to just beat the other side to the finish line. And that's exactly what the United States government attempted to do. Mainly, the CIA. The CIA was created in September of 1947 just a little over two years after the end of World War II. The goal? Gather intelligence, information from both domestic and foreign entities. In a 1951 CIA memo, it expressed the need to explore scientific methods for controlling the minds of individuals. The concerns of a Cold War world run by new Soviet mind control and brainwashing technology was an actual and genuine fear of the United States. Seriously, in an early 1950 CIA document, it states, Hypnotism appears to have been used in some cases by the Soviets. It has the possibilities of lowering resistance against telling the truth, while also being able to induce specific action or behavior in a subject. It is possible for a skilled Russian operator to bring about an interrogation, yet leave the subject with no specific recollection of having been interrogated. The leverage you have for having this kind of power over other humans, whether they be spies, prisoners of war, or even normal citizens, is almost unrivaled. The thing is, this isn't fiction. This isn't some made-up conspiracy theory. There are confirmed facts. In the mid to late 1970s, over 20,000 CIA documents were released regarding the United States' most illegal undertaking. This we read about that. story of how a government agency planned and attempted to control and alter the minds of those who inhabited the country that they run. How the United States government attempted to develop psychological, biological, and radiological weapons to turn both foreign and domestic spies into sleeper agents, and how it could still be going on today. This is Project MK Ultra. All right, well, we're not gonna dive into his full video there, or Aperture, definitely go check that out, guys. It looks fascinating. I'm probably gonna watch that a little bit later, but yeah, that uh, go check that out, because it looks like it just dives into the whole kind of history behind Project MK Ultra, and I can't wait to uh, check that out.
Two American spies have just arrived at Sandoz Laboratories, one of the world's leading pharmaceutical factories. The mission cornered the market on the world's supply of a powerful new psychoactive drug. The CIA was scared stiff the KGB was going to get all this LSD and come over and start dosing people. So we bought every drop of LSD in existence at that point. The CIA has just authorized the purchase of 10 kilograms of pure LSD-25, enough to dose more than half the population of the United States. They gave it to George White and let George start dosing people. Is this actual footage, though? George Looks fake. A larger-than-life undercover federal narcotics agent. Unbeknownst to his supervisors, White also works for the CIA. His job, to conduct experiments for an operation called Midnight Climax. George had a CIA safe house stock. Yeah, it was staged. I want to find actual footage. Drinking martinis, sitting on a portable toilet. If he had to take a leak, he didn't want to get up and leave. White pays prostitutes to lure their clients to the agency's safe house. Hookers who would bring these suckers back to the apartment and dose them with pure LSD-25. This is where I have my effect. In the mind. This is lysergic acid diethylamide, better That's known insane. as acid. The powerful drug was first synthesized in 1938 in Switzerland. With a dose of mere micrograms, the mind becomes confused. Perception is distorted. Personal identity is called into question. The results can be euphoric bliss or deadly panic. White takes meticulous notes and files his reports to his CIA handlers. So that was how LSD was introduced to this country. Operation Midnight Climax is part of a larger top secret CIA program called MK Ultra. The goal, learn how to control and even reprogram people's minds. The CIA believes LSD might hold the key. Over the next 10 years, the agency doses a cross section of the American public. Everyone from unwitting housewives to soldiers to even criminals like gangster Whitey Bulger is tested. You know what the CIA really dreamed of was sort of like a drug you could give to someone, get them to commit all sorts of unspeakable acts, and they wake up the next day and they don't remember what they've done. They were looking into brainwashing. They were looking into mind control. They were looking into how they could create what they called Manchurian candidates. They were trying to figure out if they could get people to go out and do things that they would ordinarily not do, like assassination. The case of MK Ultra has to be one of the craziest cases of blowback in CIA history because here they took this drug, LSD, and thought that they were gonna be able to use it to control people's minds, and the unbelievable irony is that LSD is a drug that does exactly the opposite. It frees your mind and uh, causes people to question authority. Turn on, tune in, drop out. The CIA's attempt to control people turned out to be <laughs> Just the opposite. It created the counterculture as we know it of the 60s. There was the yeah. CIA that That's introduced crazy. LSD That's very true. to the United wow. States. Okay. Project MK Ultra was a success. All right, well, there you have it, guys. So that's fascinating. So basically, in the 50s and 60s, I'm already watching some of the stuff in past videos. So make sure you guys go check that out where we get to watch an artist dosed on LSD and the experience he's having and they get him to do experiments as well as like a housewife. So this stuff is fascinating to me. Uh, if you guys know of any other like documented uh, actual videos from that past time I'd love to see it so please hook me up with it but there you go guys in the 50s and 60s the CIA unwittingly tested a, like a lot of people with LSD and uh, psilocybin that's crazy I can only imagine what they're doing today and not telling us about. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I want to know what you guys think. And again, hook me up with some footage if you guys know about footage from the past there. I love to see it. So go leave me a comment in the comment section below. And on your way down there, make sure you go smash that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am the Hungarian Experiment.